Benson. I'm on Musicians on the Record today. Hit it. Hi, welcome to Musicians on the Record. I'm David Ward. This is the show where we get the musician's story, and I am super excited today on the show. We've got drummer and winner of the Hit Like a Girl contest in 2017. Faith Benson is on the record. Hi, Faith. Hi, David. Welcome. Nice yeah, nice to meet you, too. Thank you so much for doing this today. So I want to talk about Hit Like a Girl and your music story as well. But congratulations, first and foremost, for winning the 2017 contest. What was that like? Um, it was super crazy. I was not expecting it, and then I did win, and I was like, what the heck? So, yeah. <laughs> how, how did it come about where you even learned about the contest and then prepared for it? Um, so my mom found the contest and, um, I decided to enter next uh, the year after that. And then I did. And then, um, preparing for it, I just, uh, I watched all the other videos and I was like, so what do I want to do? And then I continued to do that for three years and then, yeah. So you prepared for three years. Yes. Wow. Now I was also reading that you wrote your own song for the contest. Can yeah, you say a little bit about that? Um, so I was really inspired by this drummer, Anna Canillis, cause she produces her own stuff. And like, I was like, oh man, I really want to do that. I want to make my own track. And so I sat down and I wrote it and then my sisters and I recorded it. So, so all you, all your sisters, you have three other sisters. Yeah. 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 Now, did they share the award as well? Um, <laughs> I'm sure they were happy for me. <laughs> okay. okay. Got it. So your your mom found out about the contest and you did this preparation. Tell me a little bit about the process of getting the video ready and then submitting it. What was that like? Um, yeah, so coming up with the song was uh, a really fun process. And I would just like, I'm, I'm homeschooled, so my mom would let me take off school for a week and just like spend wow. the entire week writing. Cool. <laughs> and so I would just... Well, what I would first do is I'd think, like, um, you know, what, what kind of beats do I want in there? What kind of time signatures? And then um, and um, then I'd, I'd show it to my sisters, and then I'd be like, okay, so this is what I want. And then we'd record it and, like, make a, you know, a track and a metronome map. And then I'd tell my parents that we're ready, and um, and then they'd get the lights ready, and we'd just spend, take a day to film it. And, um, yeah. And then I'd just submit it to, like, a girl after posting on YouTube. And I'd write do, like, a write-up or whatever. So... Yeah, that's the process. That's great. So really, you're, you're saying it was a whole family thing. It really was a whole family thing, that, yeah. That's fantastic. And so you submitted the process, I believe, is you post it on YouTube, mm -hmm. your, your video, and then you submit it to the Hit Like a Girl contest. Yeah. Where did it go from there? Um, so Hit Like a Girl would post my video um, under like my category, which was, um, you know, and... Um, and then people could watch it from there, and they could um, even vote. So, yeah. Okay. And and how did you find out you won? Um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I actually went to Drum Channel um, that year, and I was um, – I think they did like a – they had me up there for like an interview uh, or something like that. And then I was on the panel when they were um, – when they were figuring out, when they were um, telling everyone who the winners were. And um, so they did the second runner up, the first runner up. And then when they were doing the finalists, they called the finalists and there was a phone ringing in the person's pocket next to me. And they answered, they're like, oh, Faith, it's for you. <laughs> and so I found out I won like right there on Drum Channel. It was really cool. <laughs> that is amazing. That is a fantastic yeah. story. I love that they did it that way. That is yeah, great. I mean, what did you feel when you found out you won? Um, I was just like really shocked. And I was like, I was like, I think I almost cried. I think I did end up crying later, mm. but I was really shocked and really happy because there were so many amazing people. And I wasn't, I didn't think I was going to win because I was like, you know, I was there and then there was a phone ringing and I was like, Oh my God, someone, someone has their phone on and it's just ringing. And then they're like, Oh, it's for you. And I was like, what? That's really great. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, and so you must have known that there was something good happening or maybe one of the runner-ups or whatever because they asked you to go to Drum Channel, right? Not yeah. everybody gets asked, right? <laughs> I, I think it, I think it's because, you know, I was, like, conveniently in California, and um, they had me there um, 
the year, two years before, no, one year before that. And, um, yeah, so I, I didn't think anything was, you know, different. I didn't think I was going to win. Okay, so that was old hat to you by then of going to drum channel, is it? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and your category, Faith, that you won in was what? The under-18 category. Under and 18. I was playing drum set. Yeah. And they have all kinds of categories, right? For younger girls, young women, middle-aged women, all kinds of uh, age yeah. ranges, right? Yeah. So for my year, it was under 18 and over 18. But now they're doing like, um, like different, even, I think it's like four age categories. And, um, and there's different ones like um, percussion and drum set and stuff like that. Right. So, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of categories. This Absolutely. Year. It's amazing. What advice, Faith, would you give uh, a young woman like yourself or a young girl even uh, who wants to enter the Hit Like a Girl contest and wants to end up winning it like you? I'd say just go for it because Hit Like a Girl is just such an amazing platform for people just like you, you know, young female musicians who are trying to get out there and, and uh, exhibit their art. What, <laughs> has, what has winning Hit Like a Girl uh, done for you, Faith? How has it helped you in your music? Oh, my gosh. So has it helped me in my music. So after winning Hit Like a Girl, I actually got a lot of exposure. And through Hit Like a Girl, um, a lot of really cool things happened. Like I got to be on Drum Channel. And um, my uh, the symbol company that sponsors me actually found me through Hit Like a Girl. Oh, and, and the stick company, too. And um, so that was really amazing. And it's really helped my music in the sense that, like, Hit Like a Girl challenged me every year to just continue to work and, and um, to grow as a musician and as an artist. So, yeah. So for me, entering all the, you know, um, for three years in a row, it was really, it's something that challenged me to improve. And like I said, I watched other people and, well, and like, you know, what I could do to improve. But something about Hit Like a Girl is they give you feedback. And I, one of the years they even had like a panel um, looking at videos and giving feedback and you could watch that and be like, okay, so what what can I do? What can I do to improve for next year? So something to keep in mind is that it's 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 really it's a great way to just improve and to grow. Like and you get like all these professionals are watching your video and giving you feedback. It's like wow. Yeah. And so what kind of feedback did you get? Um so for me I think I got feedback on um on the way I was playing, like my technique, I think. And actually something else is that you're watching other people. Like it was like a, it was a segment and you're watching people, um, these people watch the videos and so they're pointing out things about people's technique, like, Oh, keep your pinkies in and all that kind of stuff. And I think for me, I think they liked my video and they said, I think they just liked my video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember, but, but no, but something, they, they had someone do a written thing and this, um, a lady, she, um, she told me, she was telling me how I could improve and she's telling me like one of the fills, like, okay, so you were, um, a little bit like rushy on it. Like it was a little too like, you know, energetic. And I was like, I went back and I listened to it and I was like, oh my God, I hear it, you know? Yeah. And so you are sponsored now by a cymbal company and a stick company. Tell us who yes. you're sponsored by. Uh, TRX symbols and um, Stick Express, Stick Dot Express. Yeah. Awesome. So, just just winning the contest got you some endorsements. Yes. Pretty pretty sweet, I think. Right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk a little bit about your music story. When did you first start drumming? When did you fall in love with drums? Um, I first started drumming um, around when I was 12, and um, I was inspired to start drumming because my two older sisters were in a band at the time with my dad, and I really look up to my dad, and I was like, I want to do that, so, so I asked to drum, and then I started then in group lessons, so yeah. That's fantastic. What kind of music were, was your family playing? Um, at the time they were in a band called the Colby Benson band. It was my, my older sister. She's a lead singer and they did kind of like country. Yeah. Wow. Cause she really wanted to be a country singer. And then when we became a band, we like, we were like, what do we want to do now? And it became like pop alternative. Nice. Yeah. So it wasn't a huge deal when you went to your folks and said, mom and dad, I want a drum set that had already been happening in the family. <laughs> um, <laughs> Actually, well, my dad had a drum set, so I didn't really have to ask for a drum set. Lucky me. Yeah, um, pretty cool. Uh, I actually, when I asked my parents, I had to keep begging them because they'd be like, you know, because 
I, I used to dance and I had really bad rhythm. And um, so they were like, I don't, I don't know if she can do that. I don't know if she can drum. And they're like, can you try tap out a rhythm? They'd be like, keep a steady beat. And I'd be like, you know, so like, do you want to try guitar? So it was actually a really long process of me being like, mom, dad, I really want to play drums. They're like, okay, we'll put you in these group lessons. And then, yeah, from there, I just kept working and they're like, oh my gosh, you can actually do this. That's great. <laughs> So you said you started taking lessons. Tell me about that and what you learned and, and any inspiring teachers. Um, so I started out taking lessons um, in like a group lesson, which was really cool. And then my parents realized that I this is something that I really, really wanted to do and I was really passionate about and I was going to work for it. So they got me into um, just one-on-one -on -one lessons with a drummer, Daryl Pellegrini. Um, and he was just amazing. He really liked he. He, well, he's a jazz drummer, so he really helped me with my technique and all that stuff. And he helped me learn how to read and do different, like, you know, like, um, like snare solos and all that stuff. And then I moved to California and started taking from Pat McGrath. I, I'm just going to tell you all my drum teachers because they all really, like, Please. impacted me. Yeah, you bet. Um, <laughs> and I started taking from Pat McGrath, and he really helped me just um, – well, he helped me again with technique get, to get more power in my drumming. And then I started taking um, lessons from Aaron Illahai, who was like really impacting me as far as like, like artistically, like being able to feel out drumming because before it was more like, you know, like just sitting back and like, you know, focusing, you know, what am I doing? Just like now he's like, you got to, you can do all these things. Like, let's figure out how you can feel out the music. And hmm. that's what I'm working on now. So, yeah. That's, that's fantastic. <laughs> what, what kind of drummer whether genre or otherwise, how would you describe yourself and your drumming? Um, powerful. I like to, I hit hard. Yeah. I like to hit hard. Um, but I also focus on dynamics. So not, you know, constantly hitting hard. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Oh, and I play with a lot of stage presence and facial expression. So that could also help to describe my performance as a drummer. Awesome. So there, yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> Tell me about, you mentioned Annika. Tell me about some of your other uh, major drum influences. Oh, okay. So, um, Tomi Akonki of One Ok Rock. They're a Japanese rock band. Wow. And I, I uh, he's been inspiring me as a drummer since I, like, since I started, around the time I started. And like, he's like my favorite drummer. Um, the Anna Canilli's, like I said, Neil Peart. Yeah. He's like a huge inspiration. I love Neil Peart. Um, hmm, who else? Oh, Steve Smith. Oh my gosh, I love Steve Smith. And uh, yeah, yeah, just to name a few. I could probably go on for a really long time. Oh, and Mike, Mike Mangini. Yeah. Oh. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so you also have the Crimson Apple Band that is happening. You got a major video out there going on. Tell me about how this project started and where you want it to go. Um, so this project started, um, it's a band with my three sisters and this project started when my two older sisters who are currently in a band, um, that band ended. And at the same time, my other sister and I, um, started picking up our, our instruments. So drum and bass. And then they looked at us who were like, who just picked up their instruments. They're like, let's start a band. Like with two people didn't even know how to play their instruments. And then it sort of just, it kind of fell into place somehow because it all just like happened at the same time and so we started that and then like we instantly knew it's what we wanted to do mm. and so we just kept at it and um, we moved out to California and now we're here and I really just want to take this band as far as it can possibly go I want us to just be a band forever and to tour the world every year for the rest of my life yeah that's where I want it to go <laughs> that'd be very cool wouldn't it right so this is a yeah. family band then yes that's yeah, amazing it is. Tell me about the video and the song, and this is a, an amazingly professionally looking video. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that came about, and are you guys signed with somebody? So we're currently working with a, um, a management company called Amuse, and the song came about um, when my sisters and I, we were just jamming, and then we started this song called Can't Get Out of Bed. And we finished writing it, and then with our management company, um, we found this production team called Liar. It's a, a female production duo, and um, which is really cool. And we sort of just um, we hashed out the song, and um, then we were like, "Oh, let's release this as our as our first single." And then we decided, and then we made a music video with a um, a director. Um, her name is Ivana Boren, and um, yeah, and then we did that like in one day, and we released it. 
You did the, <laughs> you did the whole video in one day. Yes. Wow. We did. <laughs> where did you, where did you shoot it? It was like a house. Uh, I think it was a house in Northridge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Somewhere in, in Car- uh, California, though. Yeah, somewhere yeah. in California. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. <laughs> and are you guys under contract? Are you looking to be uh, for a record deal? That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Has all of this also happened or come from the success of winning the Hit Like a Girl contest, too? No. Yeah, I think I think they found us through YouTube. Um, News found us through YouTube videos that we were posting um, before that. Before I like a girl, so yeah. That's cool. Tell me, yeah. for those who want to check out your YouTube channel and the band's website, tell them mm-hmm. where they can check that out, please. Oh, uh, so you can find um, my band Crimson Apple at crimsonappleband.com or on our YouTube Crimson Apple. Yeah. Yeah, and it's and it's the whole family. And your YouTube channel is. Uh, Faith in Drums. <laughs> Faith in Drums. Awesome. Yeah. And you also have your um, the Hit Like a Girl video on there as well? Yes, I do. Yeah. 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 Actually, Tell- I have the Hit like, Hit like a Girl videos from all three years. So, yeah. All three <laughs> years. Wow. Yeah. So you're saying that you entered the contest th- for three years? Yes. Oh, yeah. wow. That was three years, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I thought you were saying you prepared... The song, oh, <laughs> yeah, and, and put it out there for one year and then hit gold. Yeah. So, yeah. So oh, that was crazy. Yeah, so, three years preparing. I, I would hope I, I'd win. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so what did you learn? It was the third year that you won it, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. so what did you learn then in that process from the other two years? And I don't know if you placed or where you were in the categories that helped you win. Um. Wow. Okay. So I think I just, every year I would submit and I'd look at all the other people's entries and then the people who won, I would look at their entries as well. And I'd sort of look at like, like, like all the amazing things they were doing. And then that next year I'd work on it. Like I saw, you know, like people with amazing stage presence that won and people like they were doing these really cool technical things. And so that sort of, yeah. Yeah. That's great. So learning from some of those other videos that helped you yeah get to the Girl. get to the win that's great excellent yeah. <laughs> so is your band gigging as well are you playing shows um yes we are we actually just got off a five-week tour um we were with the high school nation tour and uh we play regular shows at downtown disney and we we used to play well we sometimes play in the park yeah and then we play just around California, just anywhere we can. Yeah. That's great. Um, <laughs> tell me about being on the road or gigging. What's that like? Um, super crazy. Yeah. It's, um, it's really fun. Yeah. You get to see all these amazing places and you get to meet all these different people who are like from the opposite side of the country. And, um, and for me, like we grew up on the island of Oahu in, in Hawaii. And so like being all these being to all these different places that it's also like big and massive. It's like really like crazy and weird. So I love it. Yeah. yeah. Tour is really cool. That's great. What what's maybe one of your favorite places you've been to so far and, and one of your favorite gigs? Okay. So one of my favorite places is New York. I love New York. I wanna live there. And one of my favorite gigs um, I think the high school nation tour. So it's kind of like the same gig every day, but yeah, I'd say it's that. That's great. Um, tell me a little bit about how you prepare for a show. You talked about your stage presence and, you know, going on live. Are you nervous mm-hmm. at all? Or how do you prepare for a gig? Oh, I'm always nervous, but I sort of have to take some time beforehand to stretch. You know, I stretch and I kind of have like a quiet alone time to do that. And uh, yeah, I'd say that's how I prepare. You eat before a show or not eat before a show? I have to eat before a show. You have to. I eat. actually that's that's something I know about myself. I have to eat before a show, or I just I I I feel terrible on stage. Interesting, <laughs> interesting. I and that's fascinating to hear because a lot of folks I talked to said no, I can't even eat anything. What? And some people <laughs> say I can have a whole Thanksgiving meal before a show. So yeah, For you me, got, it's I have to eat. So like you, I have to. Yeah, and and so is that a a, a power? Just energy-wise, meaning would you lose energy if you didn't have some uh, protein or whatever? I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, wow. 
Amazing. So, um, <laughs> What are you working on now? What are you practicing? What are you learning as far as different drum styles, Faith? Um, right now, uh, it's actually been a while since I got to sit down and practice on something specific because I was gone for five weeks. And before that, we were preparing for the tour. But um, right now with my teacher, we're kind of going through a lot of different genres. Like that's sort of the thing, like finding finding out all these different things that different drummers do in different styles. So we were working on like a jazz song and we were looking, we were looking at like different like R and B songs and stuff like that and sort of listening to it and figuring out what they were doing and then, you know, playing over it, you know, jamming and something else, something else I'm working on is playing things on the spot, you know, like, um, just being able to listen to a song and just sit there and just constantly be like coming up with new ideas, you know, and figuring out, um, like looking at, you know, different stickings and then like, okay, what can I do around the kit with that? So yeah, that's what my teacher and I are working on right now. That's great. You also talked about learning to read. Can you talk yes. about the importance of being able to read music? Um, yeah, it's really important. It's like, um, being able to play a speaking and like, like, it's like an actual language, you know, you can speak it, but you also have to be able to read it. Can you imagine not being able to read? It's like the same thing. <laughs> Say a little bit about when some of your next gigs are coming up with Crimson and uh, Crimson Apple Band and in 2019 as well, if you have any. Um, so right now we're, we have a few dates coming up to play at downtown Disney. We just got off tour and we're planning to tour early next year and we will keep everyone posted on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So go to the website for more information on that. Yeah. Faith Benson, this has been a real treat. You are definitely a winner uh, in drums and in life. Thank you so much for being on Musicians on the Record. Oh my gosh, thank you for having me. This is so much fun. Mm -hmm.